Hello mates, I am Kiran Zadav here. Today I will demonstrate the Java basics. In that, we will cover the topic class, object, method, variable and the types in Java. And at the end, we will go ahead with the basic arithmetic application. Then we will start with our session. See, what is Java? Java it is a very high level object oriented programming language. The basic terminology there class class it means it's a predefined template it is a collection of objects variables and method class it is a collection of objects variables and methods and the best example of class will say here class class name as customer and always class first letter must be capital now coming to object, object it is an instance of a class. The best example of object will consider class name as customer, then cust equal to new customer. Then here we have available new keyword and whenever new keyword comes you can simply say this cust as a object. Now coming to next, next is method, method it means perform some task, yeah, show some behavior and the best example of method while show data and here method always start with the lowercase letter and while is written type it does not return any single thing method start with the lowercase intermediate letter we are giving here capital now coming to next next is variable variable it means storage store some data store some value store some result in java there are three types of variable available First one is instance variable, second is static variable and third is local variable. Then instance variable it means always declared with class level. Static variable also declared with the class level but must be static but must be static. And local variable it means declared inside method or block. See instance variable always declared with the class level. Static variable declared with the class level but must be static. Static variable we are not able to declare inside method. Local variable declared inside method or block. Now coming to next dead types in Java. There are two types available. First one is primitive type and the second one is non-primitive then primitive there are 8 byte short int long float double current boolean Now coming to next, next is non primitive data type in Java. There are four string, array, interface and the last one is class. See, Java it is a very high level object oriented programming language. Then basic terminology, there is class. Class it means it is a collection of objects, variables and methods. Best example of class here customer and class first letter always must be capital. Object, object it means instance of a class. Whenever new keyword comes, you can simply say this is the object and object always start with the lower case. Method it means perform some task, show some behavior. And here we have declared the method as white show data. Show data is our method and method always start with the lower case. White is the written type, it does not return any single thing. Coming to next variable variable it means storage store some data store some value store some result in java there are three types of variable instance variable static variable and local variable instance variable always declare with the class level static variable also declare with the class level but must be static local variable declared inside method or block now coming to next data types in java there are two types available primitive and non primitive under primitive there are eight data types you can simply say byte, short, int, long, float, 
डबल कैरेंट बुलेन नॉन प्रेमिटिव देर आर फोर स्ट्रिंग अरे इंटरफेस एंड क्लास नाउ विल कम अपू प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच है सिंपली ओपन दी क्लिप्स गोस टू फाइल न्यू डायनेमिक प्रोजेक्ट द एप्लीकेशन नेम आई एम गिविंग हियर कोर जावा नाउ सिंपली कम अपू एस आर सी मेन जावा एंड राइट क्लिक ऑन दैट न्यू पैकेज द पैकेज नेम आई एम गिविंग हियर कॉम डॉट फुल स्टैक डॉट कोर कॉम इट मीन्स ओ एस लेवल कोर लेवल पैकेज फुल स्टैक इट मीन्स आवर कंपनी नेम एंड कोर इट मीन्स वी आर लर्निंग द कोर जावा एंड पैकेज ऑल लेटर्स वी आर गिविंग हियर लोअर केस एज पर स्टैंडर्ड्स देन सिंपली राइट क्लिक ऑन पैकेज न्यू जावा क्लास द जावा क्लास नेम आई एम गिविंग हियर अरिथमेटिक एप्लीकेशन सी क्लास फर्स्ट लेटर एलवेज मस्ट बी कैपिटल देन हियर आई एम क्रिएटिंग द मेन मेथड पब्लिश टाइटिक वाइड मीन स्ट्रिंग आर्ग्यूमेंट्स एंड डिक्लेरिंग द फेरेबल हियर इंटीजर एन वन इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एन टू इक्वल टू टेन एंड द इनिशियल वैल्यू ऑफ रिजल्ट आई एम गिविंग हियर जीरो देन फर्स्ट विल डू द एडिशन ऑफ टू नंबर दैट्स वाई एम एडिंग हियर रिजल्ट इक्वल टू एन वन प्लस एन टू एंड नाउ आई एम जस्ट एडिंग हियर दिस विल बी एडिशन रिजल्ट इन स्लैश एन इट मीन्स वेर एडिंग इन न्यू लाइन एडिशन रिजल्ट नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रन दिस एप्लीकेशन द एडिशन रिजल्ट वेर एक्सपेक्टिंग हियर ट्वेंटी प्लस टेन इट विल बी थर्टी now we'll go ahead with the subtraction multiplication and division see the second one we'll consider as a subtraction the same text also i'm going to change here as subtraction then see next is we'll consider as a multiplication here the text i'm changing as a multiplication and the next is division we'll consider here this will be division result yeah now simply right click go ahead with the run as java application it will give us the output what we are expecting yes then see here our class as arithmetic application class first letter always must be capital then main is our method name start with the lower case here this is the scope of our main method this is the scope of our main class here we declare the three variables like n1 n2 and a result those all are the type as int type and we declare inside method that's why we are saying this is local variables then as per our business requirement we added the logic here result equal to n1 plus n2 then n1 is 20 n2 is 10 it will give us the output as 30 into result and finally we are printing here addition of two number same for subtraction and finally we are going to print the output as well then i will teach you here how to debug this application for that perspective line number 7 inside main method first line i am adding the breakpoint simply right click go ahead with the debug as java application see simply click on switch it will go to line number 7 and it will stop there i am using function f6 for next line see what is the value of n1 20 what is the value of n2 10 then 20 plus 10 it will be 30 control shift i see here is 30 value will be available yeah available there right yeah see here is 30 then you can simply press function f6 for next line see result also 30 available there and again if you are going to press function f6 it will goes to next line it means debug we are going to use for to understand the flow line by line execution then here we are able to see the output as addition result as 30 now i i want to like jump on next breakpoint i am adding the next breakpoint at line number 21 then if you are pressing function f6 it will goes to next line but now i want to go at next breakpoint at line number 21 for that perspective we are going to press function f8 see next breakpoint function f8 and here n1 is 20 n2 is 10 then 20 by 10 the output is 2 and you can again press function f6 see in result there will be available 2 and once we are going to use f6 the current line it will be executed and it will print division result see one screen function f6 see here is division result and now you can again press function f6 the execution happens successfully here now 
this is the mode in debug mode we will simply come up with the java to ee mode it means java to enterprise edition mode then i hope you got the basic understanding of this arithmetic application and whatever we learn in today's session like java basics class object method variables and data types in java then upcoming sessions we'll see more practical example here thanks for watching this video please do like share subscribe the channel to get more updates and see you in next video